Hello everyone, here I am doing exercise 2.4, third question, fraction in decimal of class 7. So this exercise is all about multiplication with the decimal numbers. So third question is about multiplication by 10, 100 or 1000. Fine. So let's see when you multiply a decimal number with a 100 or 10 or 1000, how to multiply. It's very simple. So let's start the first question. So we have 1.3 multiplied by 10. So this is equal to what you should see here is in 10, how many zeros we have? One zero, right? So this decimal decimal point move towards the right side, okay? Towards the right side. After one digit, we have just we have to move one digit because it's a one zero, so move one digit. So this will become 13.0, which is same as 13. That's it. So it's very simple. When you're multiplying with 100, 10, or 1000, you have to just check the number of zeros and that many decimal points that you have to just move towards the right side. That's it. Then the next one, we have 36.8 multiplied by 10. Again, we have only one zero, right? So we this decimal point move towards the right side. After one digit, we have to put because there's only one zero. So this will become 36 or 3. 68.0 which is same as 368 now next one third one 153.7 multiplied by 10 again we have only one zero so this decimal point move one digit towards the right side so this will become 1537.0 the next one again we have 10 we have 168.07 right so this decimal move one digit to the right side so this will be 168 a one thousand six hundred eighty point seven the next we have with hundred now this is different we have two zeros here right so this decimal point has to move two digits towards the right side that is after two digit we have to put decimal point so this will become thirty one one if you see here only one digit we have right we don't have two digits after this so we're gonna put zero and then point zero I hope it's clear because we want two digits only one is present here so we're going to put one zero and this decimal point move towards the right side and we have to put after two digits so it will be like 3110.0 then the next one sixth one so again same thing like a previous question we have a two zeros here it's been multiplying with hundred so the decimal has to move uh, two digits to the right so this will become 1500 now it will be one five six one zero point zero it is fifteen thousand six hundred ten point zero we are moving two digit to the right so after one we have no number so we're going to put zero here and then we're going to solve it then the next question seventh one again we have hundred so this decimal move towards the right side after two digits we have to put because two zeros are there in hundred so this will become three sixty two point zero the next one again we have 100 we have to move this decimal to the right side after two digit we have to put so this will become 4307.0 then the next question so we have 10 again here 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 so the decimal will move towards the right side after one digit we have to put it will become 5.0 or just simply 5 then the next one same thing uh, like previous we have done here so this decimal point will come here after zero after one digit we have to put so it will be 0 0.8 okay then the next one we have 100 here you can see we have one digit only nine we have here but we want two digits right so after nine we're gonna put zero and then we're gonna put decimal so it will become 90.0 the last one we have thousand thousand we have three zeros right so we have to uh, put decimal point after three digits that is we have to move towards the right side after three digits we have to put so it will become and you can see only two digits are there so we have to add one zero here extra zero here so this will be a zero three zero point sorry zero three zero point zero or we can write 30.0 or just 30. So that's it. I hope it's clear how to multiply with 10, 100 and 1000. In case you have further questions or doubts on multiplication, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.